So sometimes people also say to me, well, why should you believe in God? Um, you know, you should show me evidence. If you don't give me evidence for God, then I won't believe in God. Um, just like I won't believe in a flying teapot somewhere around the earth that I can't really see uh, because I can't see it. And you say that, 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 that it's there, and I believe it's not there. And you say, well, I have faith that it's there. And why should I believe that? I should be skeptical. In other words, the default, the default assumption is to be skeptical about these things. That, that assumes that God is another thing out there, like a teapot. And so if, if Andy comes to my lab to me and says, you know, today in, in physics we discovered this new amazing particle, okay, it's the most amazing particle, uh, you wouldn't believe how amazing it is. And uh, um, I'm, as a scientist, I am, I'm going to be skeptical. I said, well, I don't, well, show me some evidence for it, because I'm going to be skeptical. Until Andy shows me evidence for it, I'm not going to believe in it. And that's how science works. That's a really, really good way of getting scientific knowledge. So I, the, my default assumption is skepticism. But God is not an object out there like another particle or like a, something like ourselves, but bigger and smarter. God is, by definition, the reason why the universe exists. If there was no God, there would be no universe. And the reason why we think that is because, precisely because of the question that was just asked, which is that otherwise God becomes just another thing in a long list of things. But the, it's, it's, the point is that God is not another thing like our physical things. That's why people came up with, that's why the idea is that God is um, the first cause, or God is someone who cannot not exist. And so what that does is that out of those three options, one option is the universe is always existed in some kind of eternal state. The other one is that the universe came into being out of somewhere. Right? So the one that has in some kind of eternal state, you had something that calls something that calls something, so you have this eternal regress. And the third option is a completely different option, which is a traditional option of theism, which is that uh, God is not just another object. So when you say who created God, you're not talking about the God of traditional theism, you're talking about some other kind of God.